Hi, good to see you again. I'm so glad you stopped by. It's always awful nice to have you in the studio. You know how I don't like to paint alone. And you people have become so, so friendly to me and so nice to me that I'm glad to have you. Today I'm going to do something that somebody asked me about, and, and it was uh, foregrounds. Well, foregrounds, I'm afraid that we ha you got nothing to do about it uh, except to, to paint foregrounds. So what we're going to do is I'll just show you the simplest way that I know of to, uh, to um, uh, paint them. Now, I know that uh, these are just uh, little quick, uh, sketches, but we're going to put them all together and uh, use them as um, as one. So I'm going to uh, uh, pretend that's the building coming down there, just like we had on the first one. Okay, so if that's the building. And that's the end of it, and that's the the door, and that's the other side. See? I'm not not painting all the brick and all the mortar and all that kind of stuff. That would drive me right up the wall. Can't do that now. Gotta wait. What I can do is this. I'm gonna let, add a little sap grain to it. Give it this green kind of feeling. So it looks like we've got some sort of the start of a pasture or something in there. And of course, you know, those cows, they'll run right over that road. Huh? Won't they? Okay. Now look at that. Uh, look at that. Let's get a different, uh, a different. Oh, let's get uh, a little burnt sienna. Drop some of the, that, that in there while it's wet. There you go. See that? And don't make it the same all the way over. You know. Add a little something different to it. And uh, who knows, that this may be a road and that thickness of the grass and, you know, stuff like that. Could be. It could be. See? So now the foreground, here it is. Pretty simple. Hit it with a little bit of and then if you want to cool it off, you've got a little bit of violet over here, a little bit of blue violet. Just run that up through there. There it is. Yep. Yep, there it is. Mm-hmm. Now, see, I like that foreground. I'll bring some of that blue up in there. Get a stroke of that blue up in there. See? So, now, look at all the color down in here. Oh, I like that. I like that. We'll put a roof on. Maybe we'll put a roof on this old structure. These roofs never were straight. They're always cocky, cocky, you know, cockeyed, and you couldn't you, you couldn't really figure them out, especially the old ones. You know, this barn here, I painted oh had to be a hundred times. This is up in Bone, on Highway 105. So I'm just giving you a quick synopsis as to how to tie the 
foreground and the subject matter in with the foreground, okay? So the foreground can play a very, very important role, and sometimes we don't take the time to realize it. Uh, so I just want us to realize what we what we're missing if you don't if you don't uh, take advantage of it. And I'll hit it with uh, we'll hit it with a little red and a little of this and a little of that. Who who cares? Huh? Who really cares? You know, since Roosevelt died, what the hell do I care? But anyway, you know. Uh, good man, Teddy. Good man. Anyway. All right. Let's let's leave what we we have now. And now I want to show you how to tie the tie the background in so that uh, um, it doesn't get lost here. Let's thirsty brush and pick up some of that water. Just, just pick up, or well, you can take a nice little piece of the napkin, roll up a little napkin. Yeah, see, there you go. Because there's a lot of water coming down there. All right. Now, the the key is I've got to tie this to this. Although, in other words, all I'd have is this and this. Nothing joining. Nothing joining, you see. Nothing going on. So we're going to join it. Okay? Mary, you paying attention? You didn't fall asleep yet. All right. Mary worries me a little bit. She stays out late at night. She goes from here to the bridge game. She plays bridge. Now, here, I don't want to have a line all the way across there. So I'm going to just build a some board just like we've been doing. And when they come down here, see, that one just a little crooked. And that's what you got to do here. You got to kind of be gentle and make sure you, you don't go in so fast. Okay? Yeah, we don't want to go in f too fast. Because what happens, see, the, the water starts to, to run or to weep on you. Okay? Whoa, see that? See, that's a curveball. Wow. But we'll put a big a big hole in that barn. That's where threw it. they were practicing baseball one day and Louie threw it just a little bit too much. Anyway, So we want to put a we want to put a bottom on it. So we tie it to the ground. Okay. Now sometimes you don't you have to do every one of these. You can get by with just a few. There you go. Here we are. Now, 
I know that isn't too much, but you get the idea of the, of the tying in the foreground. And then to make it even better, what you want to do is get a nice wet brush or damp brush, not too wet, just damp. And then run it right, right, right along the bottom of that. Pull some of that down. Yep, pull some of that right down. How's that? See? So this foreground now becomes a little bit more interesting. Can you understand that? It's just a little bit more interesting. Even here, this is too plain. So we just did that. That that takes away the plainness. You could even get another color in there. See? Anything. Anything. Yeah. And uh, then right beside it, you'd have um, maybe one of those uh, palm trees. And maybe there's some stuff that grows in there. And, and you don't want to get too detailed with it. The roughness and the color will tell you, you know, there's stuff in there. Just anything. And uh, you, can, uh, you can take a brush and bring this up or bring something like that up or Bring something like that up and, you know, that'll give you a little background, see? Okay? How's that? That do it? Again, I'm glad to see you. I'm so happy you stopped by. Please stay in touch with me. You'll see my uh, name and address and website number and all that uh, right after we... Um, uh, end off. Uh, I'd love to see you. Give me a call. Tell me you saw me on the, on the snippets. Okay? Thanks. Please come again. I enjoyed it. Hope you did. See you next trip.